Christiane was ready to concoct many cocktails in celebration of the Kwanzaa bar crawl. But instead, the B2 Harlem bartender is brewing up whatever she can for a much slower Sunday crowd because COVID had other plans. It definitely did. I mean, as a restaurant, we would love to have more people coming in our doors and everyone be able to feel safe being indoors and coming out, spending money, etc. And obviously we wanted to celebrate Kwanzaa. The annual Kwanzaa crawl usually happens the day after Christmas or the first day of Kwanzaa. It celebrates black owned bars and shops in Harlem and Brooklyn. But a surge in COVID cases means this year's festivities are postponed. It's a bummer. I think it was the right call to be safe, unfortunately, but we definitely would have really enjoyed having that happen. Jasmine McKenzie Bay was relying on the crawl to boost her business, Mother Gray's. Through WhatsApp, she says she was planning on selling her cultural head and body wraps at the kickoff of Brooklyn's crawl in the Navy Yard. At different events, that's where everything comes alive. I start to see old and new faces at events. It's definitely impacted the social aspect of it, and it's definitely impacted the amount of people that I get to reach. Instead, the small business owner is stuck at home, sick. Although she hasn't gotten tested for COVID, she wouldn't have been able to attend the event even if it was still on. I wanted to just stay safe, stay in, and um, physically, yeah, I've, I've been affected by it too. Participants are hopeful the holiday event, which celebrates culture and community, will resume when the pandemic slows down. We got through the first round, so I know we will again, but uh, it just, it needs to be, you know, it needs to stop. <laughs>